OK, and with uh, Altrincham midfielder Josh Lundstrom, a man of the match as well tonight, brilliant performance. 1-0 against Oldham, you must be delighted with that, Josh. Yeah, probably, I'd, I'd say it's our best performance of the season. I think all all areas of the game, we did really well tonight. There's been a few games where we've we've been on song with the attacking play and not been good at the back. Like the other, the other day at Torquay, we were excellent going forward, but then at the back, we were a bit suspect. So I think tonight we've... Uh, we've done really well at all areas of the pitch. Yeah. I think, as you say, the performance across the whole pitch was brilliant. You and Elliot there in the middle of the park as well. It's, again, you worked really well tonight together. Yeah, we've got a good partnership in there. We both kind of know what each what each other's strengths and weaknesses are, so we, we work quite well. But I thought all over the pitch tonight, I don't think you could say anyone was um, below par. I think everyone was pretty much bang on tonight. And we needed to be against Oldham, didn't we? Because they've come here on the back of a good result. You know, we beat Yeovil at the weekend 2-0. Um, important, you know, important three points for them. Um, and they've come, come in numbers, 1,600 Oldham fans here tonight. Yeah, of course. It's never easy when the, um, the opposition bring as many fans as they did, especially when you're the home side. It almost feels like, you, you, not that we're the away side, but it almost is a bit of a 50-50 game. But, yeah, they're an experienced side. But I think we, we just controlled the game tonight. I think they've obviously come to sit in and try and frustrate us, but... And I think at times we've probably made a couple of like silly mistakes over the course of the season, but tonight we didn't we didn't make any. We didn't give them a sniff really. I think that's what they were they were waiting for a little bit of a mistake. They probably thought they were going to get it, but we were we were, we were that good tonight. They didn't get one. Totally agree with you. I think we were quality at the back, um, quality in the midfield, and we played well up front. And just a word for Chris Con Clark as well. What a strike that was. Yeah, yeah. We we see we see that kind <laughs> of technique every day in training. He's got. He's unbelievable how he gets it to go up and down like that. I was standing right behind it as soon as he hit it. The key, I knew the keeper wasn't getting there just because of how high it goes above the goal. The, the, it's so difficult for the keeper to save. It was unbelievable. Josh, obviously, I know you know you from crew from your crew time as well. But Altrincham like to play the ball in the crew way, don't they? On the floor, move the ball quickly. Suits your game as well in the middle of the park. How are you enjoying your time at Altrincham Football Club? Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, Obviously, I was here before on loan, so I knew what it was all about. I knew that the style of the style of play suits me. Um, it's funny; it, it, it's very similar to Crew, to be yeah. fair, in the way that we play. Obviously, try and play through the thirds, and then we've got a lot of attacking players, so at times we're exposed. So, but that that kind of helps my strengths of getting around the pitch, and I can cover spaces, get get the ball back for us. So, yeah, it suits me a lot playing for this team. And play, I mean, you'll know obviously Ryan Colcliffe from his time as well at Crew and stuff, and. You know, the way he drops, the way Colclough drops, the way Con Clark drops, the movement, the interplay, Marcus Denanger as well is quick at the back. Jordan Hume holds up the ball well. There's quality performances everywhere, wasn't there? And everyone's starting to they're starting to tick now, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're we're like we we're, we're becoming more cohesive, do you know what I mean? We're not maybe the first few games we were just kind of learning what each other's gonna do, but I think now a lot of times, because when I'm behind the ball, I'm just at times just watching them play and the opposition don't know what to do at times you can, you can see on the pitch that they're, they're moaning at each other saying we've got to get there we've got to get there and they don't know what to do just because of the interchange in the positions and how good they are going forward so it's very hard to stop Josh you've played league football but how tough is this National League because for me the National League is getting stronger and stronger the quality sides your Notts Counties of the world your Wrexhams of the world Stockport obviously went up last season there's not a lot of difference, is it, between this and League Two? And Stockport proved that by beating Salford last week quite comfortably. Yeah, of course. I think when you look at the top sides, any team that comes out of this division genuinely doesn't struggle in League Two. And I think yeah. that's probably kind of shows you the standard of the National League. I, I think any team that's in probably the top seven is, is going to cope in League Two. With I think obviously only two teams go up, so it's very hard to get out of this division. What we know, yeah. so we've just got to keep pushing and just basically just try and improve on last season. See see if we can keep pushing up the league. And that's the message from the gaffer, no doubt. You know, good, important three points, but you've got to follow it up again at the weekend. Yeah, of course. We're looking, we're looking up the table now. We're, we're, just, we're just on to the weekend. And hopefully we can start. Well, we're, we're on a bit of a run, but hopefully, hopefully we can keep it going. And what was it like playing in front of 3,500 tonight? I know Oldham brought 1,600, but the Ulster fans got right behind you, didn't yeah, they, as well? Yeah, they were probably as good as they've been tonight. I think they, they wanted to try and out-sing Oldham, which they did. And they were, I think they fed off the performance, because obviously there's, there's two sides to it. We've got to perform to make sure we get yeah. them off the seats. So... I think we did that tonight. Well done, Josh. Brilliant performance. Yes, nice. Well done.